Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a little review on my Neverfull GM. Um, it's the medium size. Um, yes, cost me around uh, 1700 I think. Um, I've had it for a couple of years. Now I just want to give you some tips that I've found over the last couple of years with it. Okay, so first of all, that's inside it. Now, what I bought was the insert that, that is specially designed for the Neverfull. It's called the Samorga. So, um, yep, been very happy with this. It's been fantastic. Fits heaps of stuff in there. I've got, like for example, I've got wallet in one compartment and then glasses and a makeup bag. Sorry, I should be holding it that way. Um, the phone, I've got a little coin purse. I've got my keys, they fit in there nicely. And <laughs> the trusted antibacterial hand wipes. Okay, fits fantastic in the bag. I've also got the insert in the bag in there as well. So I'll pop that back in. Now, I do like to try and secure my bag, so I tend to pinch the sides and do the drawstring up a little bit. But the reason I'm doing the, the video is to show you how to secure your bag so nobody pinches anything out of it. Because if you're sitting there having coffee, like I am quite a lot, you don't want no one nosing in your bag. So what I found was a great idea was just get a scarf, literally just drape it over your stuff. I should use a little clasp as well. So you just... You're just covering the bag with a scarf. No one knows what's in it and they're not going to rummage around. Now, the other thing I could, you could do, um, again, I thought this was a great idea. I'll just take all that out. Now, when you've got your Louis Vuitton bag, you get your dust cover. So with the dust cover, you could actually line your bag. So first of all, you're protecting your bag and also hiding your your um, items so you just drape it in the bag like that so you're actually covering your base you know because they do get grubby just put a few items in a couple of items okay and then what you do you just flip <laughs> the top part over and that acts almost like that scarf I suppose and again you're covering all your all your bits and pieces and there no one knows what's in there then and you can still get to it so basically it's the same sort of thing as the scarf okay so I thought that was a great idea and again you can just squish it all down to a nice little size that way um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the iPhone 6 plus cover that I've got now I absolutely love this and the, I do find there's a bit of a problem though because it has actually started to um, tear down the bottom there. Um, I've had it, like I said, for a couple of years now. Um, the good thing is with it, it it's nice. <laughs> the, the disadvantage is that um, when you're on the phone, people say, oh, it's a bit muffly, you can't really hear yourself. It's just a bit of a pain. The stickiness on it is really good, so you can take it off and use different phone covers if you want to. It's got the little bit at the back there to put your cards or whatever you want in there and some at the front here. It's got the little flap at the front there. Um, it's not very easy if you want to point and shoot like a picture really quickly because you've got to undo it and you've got to try and angle it, you know, to take a picture. Well, I suppose you could just do it like that. But it, it's just not as easy to use as if you just had one that you point and shoot. I mean, you can walk around holding it like that or even talk on that, but I still feel it might be a bit muffled. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, so, yeah, so it rings really well. Um, I think um, that's probably all I can tell you about the phone cover. Um, I'm very happy with the bag. It is just fantastic. Um, highly recommend it. Next time I will get one that's a zipper one or maybe a crossbody one. So anyway, just a couple of little tips for you and I hope you find them useful. Bye.